Dear graduates, very recently, India, once a colony of the powerful British Empire, overtook its erstwhile ruler to become the fifth largest economy in the world in its 75th year of independence. Today is about you, about your fears, hopes, dreams, and life choices. Here's my advice to you, and feel free to ignore it. Forget the standard definitions of success and seek what gives you meaning. If you find this why of your life, you can deal with the hows and what's. It's important that you follow your own in instincts and interests. Many of us are stuck in jobs we don't like. I'm lucky that I love mine. That's because we often do what our peers or family or society expect us to. Instead, find the kind of work that you're good at and which gives you joy and satisfaction. It could be a salaried job or it could be a startup of your own. Once you do that, even an 18-hour day will feel like fun, not hard work. It is like being paid for something you're passionate about. Have faith in yourself. Be bold. Don't be afraid to take calculated risks. And don't be paralyzed by fear of failure. Most importantly, never stop learning. Embrace change and constantly innovate. That is the key to success. At the Times of India, our motto is change begins here. And we really believe we can make a positive difference to the lives of our readers. You may think you are young and don't have the reach or the influence of the Times of India, the world's largest English language paper. But you would be wrong. I was struck by Admiral William McRaven's commencement speech at the University of Texas, Austin, some years ago. He spoke of how millions of lives could be changed if each student went out and changed the lives of just 10 people, and they in turn did the same. So do not underestimate your power to change the world. Change can begin with you. You are all lucky have to have got an excellent education. As you embark on an exciting new phase of your life, let us acknowledge the contribution of those without whose support and love you wouldn't be here. Most of all, your parents. You put in the long hours, but so have they because being a parent is a 24 by 7 responsibility. They will be proud to see you receive your much-deserved degrees. I'm confident that in the years to come, you'll give them many more reasons to smile and to cheer. I also know that you'll make your alma mater, Bennett University, especially your professors, very proud too. Cherish and celebrate this moment. Take, get, take good care of your health. Be good to those around you and stay true to yourself. Live your life honestly and lead with integrity. I wish you the very best in all your future endeavors.